Visiting a dentist after COVID-19 pandemic can seem a bit daunting, especially for young children and people with special needs. At Montville Dental Clinic in Lerwick, we made this video to help people familiarize themselves with the environment before their appointment. You will be able to see the appointment as it happens step by step alongside six-year-old Erin. At the arrival to the clinic, it is still important to sanitize your hands and wear your face mask to protect yourself and the others. The reception area is now open to public, so all you need to do is give receptionist your name, time of the appointment and wait in the seating area until invited to the surgery by a nurse or a dentist. occasion so that's really good. Yeah. What about sweets, biscuits, anything like that? How often would you have something like that? Um, after my food. Okay that's great so if, when you have something sweet you would normally have it straight after a meal is that right? Yeah. Yeah and how many times in a day would that be? Would that be less than once a day? More than once a day? Um, um I don't usually eat sweeties all the time. That's good. Okay, so you sound like you're doing lots of the right things. And your mum helps you brush your teeth and you normally do that twice a day. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to have a wee look in your mouth and we're going to count how many teeth you have. Alright, do you know how many teeth you have? Uh, no. You can start counting, then I'll count. And then we'll have a wee look at them and see if they're looking nice and healthy. Um, so we're going to pop you back in the chair. So this is a wee magic chair here. Then we press that button and that's going to go really far back. And then I'm going to get some sunglasses. Get some on. cool sunglasses. Got a very bright light here. We're going to pop you a wee bit further back in the chair so it'll make you lie flat just like as if you're in bed. Okay. Okay, <laughs> well stop, don't worry. There we go. Can you tell me when? No. Yeah, good. good. Right, Erin, I'm going to need you to scoot up the chair a wee bit so you're a bit closer to me, so you need to move this way. So just shuffle right up, keep going. Oh, you're off to the side now, so I'll lift your head over for you. Right. And tip your chin up like this for me. Okay, cool. Oh, not, not as far as that. <laughs> that's okay. I'm sorry, that's tickly. Just checking for any wee lobster bumps. Too big wide now. Open with it. Excellent. And close. Good girl, and then do a big wide mouth for me. Close together. Good. Okay. And then can I get you to open really wide? And what we're going to do now is we're going to count your teeth. So, starting from upper right hand side, we have 6, E, D, C. Then the 2 um, isn't through yet, the B is missing. And then we have the 1, upper left 1. The same on the, the B and the two is on the points. Yes. And then we have C present, D, E, and six. Then going to the lower left, we have six, E, D, C, two, one, midline, one, two, C, D, E, six. And then I'm going to get you to say ah. Ah. Perfect. Curl your tongue backwards. Let me have a wee look under your tongue. Good. Ah. Stick your tongue right out. And then move it left, and then right, and relax. Right, so we're going to try a wee bit of air. Can I get you to pop your hand up for me? It's tickly. Okay, so we're going to do that on your teeth, just so that I can dry them and see them a bit better. So I'll get you to tip your chin up for me like this. Good, that's great. And a wee bit of air here. Oh. You're able to open really wide, so that's making it easier for me to see everything. 
I'm just going to have a recheck here. see any sign of caries obviously there's um given the fact that you're looking after everything I, I don't think there's a need to take bite wings not probably at this stage but we would maybe do those next time um I think I can't see any indication for them there's a wee bit of plaque build up just in your lower front teeth here so just making sure that you're getting into the, all these wee areas and keeping your gums really nice and healthy. Um, but I think all the other areas you're brushing really, really well. That's just because those teeth in the bottom front are coming in and they're a wee bit, um, a wee bit crowded. It does make it a wee bit more tricky to get in there. Um, Um, so that's about all, really, I think. Um, you're doing a really good job otherwise. Okay, so you know which area... I didn't it... really feel anything. It didn't even hurt at all. That's good. So you know what bits you're going to work on a wee bit more? It's just uh. these front teeth, especially in the back of them. Get your toothbrush right down to the gum and right at the front there. Okay? Oh, yeah, I forgot I did that yeah. today. Okay. To keep your teeth healthy, we recommend brushing your teeth twice daily for at least two minutes with a fluoride toothpaste reduce consumption of sugar and enjoy sweet treats at mealtime only and attend dental appointments regularly as advised. Smoking leads to a poor gum health. Contact your local health center if you need help to quit smoking.